Our volcano, the Sufre Volcanic Center, is the youngest and only live volcanic center in St. Lucia. Many years ago, explosive eruptions impacted the island, creating many of the geographic features we see today. The most recent eruption occurred in 1766, and since then, the most vigorous surface volcanic activity has been hot springs and gas venting at Sulphur Springs. But that's just the start. Come, let's dig a little deeper. Do you know your volcano story? How big is my volcano? The Sufre Volcanic Center occupies a large portion of southwest St. Lucia. This large caldera, however, may have several different vents or places where magma can reach the surface. Volcanic domes like Tebla, Belfort, and Mont Bonin are all locations where past eruptions have occurred and may occur again in the future. The town of Soufre, the Sulphur Springs, as well as villages like Magritut, Jalousie, and Fordu all lie within our volcanic caldera. Is my volcano active? Yes, it is. Scientists no longer use the term dormant. Instead, they consider volcanoes to be either live or dead. Live volcanoes are likely to erupt in the future and show signs of activity. Dead volcanoes do not show any signs of activity and are not expected to erupt in the future. Mountains like La Saucier and Peter Flo in northern St. Lucia are actually dead volcanoes. Is my volcano dangerous? Although the SVC is considered live, it is currently not a threat to neighboring communities. During quiet periods, people can safely visit the Sulphur Springs and other attractions in the Sufra area. Visitors, however, must obey all safety instructions posted at these sites, including those given by official tour guides, as prolonged exposure to volcanic gases may cause illness in susceptible individuals. If the volcano erupts, projectiles, large pieces of rock ejected from the vent and pyroclastic flows, avalanches of hot ash and rock would likely be the most dangerous hazards. These hazards will likely affect areas closest to the volcano. Ashfall will be the most far-reaching, as far as 3 kilometers from the vent, for a small explosive eruption with the possibility of affecting a wider area based on wind direction. Areas as far as La Pelle, Crestlands, Montjac, Bellevue and Boiden may be affected and may possibly even impact nearby islands. So, during an eruption, how can I be safe? During an eruption, it is important to listen and adhere to instructions from the official sources of information, NEMO and the UWI SRC. It is likely that residents from areas in the red and orange hazard zones will need to evacuate. NEMO will advise residents of the appropriate evacuation routes and shelters. Before an eruption, it is helpful to have an emergency kit and a family emergency evacuation plan. Remember that it is unlikely that an eruption will occur without warning. It will likely be preceded by recognizable warning signs such as small earthquakes, changes in water and gas chemistry, and the shape of the ground around the volcano. The UWISRC operates a monitoring network which should allow scientists to provide sufficient warning to authorities prior to an eruption. How does our volcano help us? Besides forming a striking landscape, our volcano also creates economic opportunities through tourism, agriculture and energy. Restaurants, hotels, tour guides and taxi drivers all benefit from major attractions like the Pitos and the Sulphur Springs Park. Volcanic eruptions boost agriculture by spreading nutrient-rich ash and rock over wide portions of land, which eventually break down to form very fertile soil and higher crop yields. The energy associated with geothermal systems is a significant source of renewable energy. Many countries, including Iceland and Guadeloupe, use geothermal resources to generate energy. Finally, the volcano is a real-life laboratory, which many different types of scientists often study to better understand volcanic processes and impacts on society and the environment.